Donna, your hair is going to look so fabulous. It's weird. I actually feel different. Well, now that you're not getting married, you have to re-energize yourself spiritually. And making superficial changes is the best way to do that. <laughs> Hello. Ugh. Oh, come on. A sweater vest? <laughs> If you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything at all. Well, if I followed that rule, I'd never speak again. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. Okay, okay, I'm going. You look like a circus poodle. Hey, so, uh... Look, I think we need to talk about us uh, since the matrimonial incident. Uh, I mean, we've seen each other, but... We, we haven't really talked about anything. Yeah, but it's been nice, right? I mean, I'm sick of talking about us. And I'm not mad because you were right. I mean, we were about to make a huge mistake. I, mean, I can't live in a trailer with you. <laughs> I'd hear you going to the bathroom. Yes, I had thought about that. I was only gonna go in a bottle after you were asleep. So. <laughs> See, remember when our relationship was the most fun thing in our lives? And then we put all this pressure on it. Wish we could just... You know, hang out without all that stuff. Holy mother of God. Do you like it? Are you kidding? Yes. It's, it, it's good. I think it's like a sign that you're uh, loosening up. Like, maybe now you might like that thing I try in bed that makes you mad. I won't. <laughs> I'll still try. See, this is great. Your perviness is our biggest problem now. Just like the old days. Yes. <laughs> exactly. See, we should just hang out. You know, get back in touch with ourselves. That sounds dirty. Is it dirty? <laughs> I'm serious. I have a plan. You have a plan? Perfect. I need a plan. What's your plan? I'm going to DJ at the radio station full time and rededicate myself to feminism. At the radio station? Is that what? Are you, you going to play more heart? <laughs> And other stuff. Maybe some Benatar. Wow. Whatever, I'm blonde now. I can do what I want. All right! Eric traded in Donna for a hot blonde. Uh, oh, crap. She looks exactly like Donna. That is Donna, you ding dong. Only now she lets Foreman do that thing he's been trying. I'd... I said maybe. Your hair is beautiful. I want to touch it. <laughs> hey, I can do this all day. Okay, fine. Eh. Well, you don't like it? I like my woman like I like my wine. Red and full of alcohol. Whatever. When I was a redhead at the bakery, they'd give me a free donut. But as a blonde, apple fritter. <laughs> so I'm going to stay blonde for a while. And I'm going to go to the bakery. You're a lucky man, Foreman. Not only is Donna not mad, but as a bonus, she's fixed herself up all hoary. <laughs> and I have an announcement. Donna and I have decided we're not talking about our relationship anymore. Hooray! Oh, oh. <laughs> Finally, we'll have some time to talk about things I want to talk about. Number one, cocoa butter. It doesn't taste like cocoa or butter. It's going to be so great to be with Donna without all the talking and the decisions and the labels. You know, am I your fiancé? You know, am I your boyfriend? Hey, wait a minute. Are you and Donna boyfriend or girlfriend or not? No, I'm saying, why put labels on it? Are you dating or can you see other people? Why are you so interested? He's trying to figure out if he can nail Donna. Hi! <laughs> Let me build up to it, damn. So can I? No. Thanks for nothing, hi. 